Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's High Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Uh, before I get into this video, I just want to thank everybody who showed up to the live Microsoft stream on my channel. I'm sorry that it did not load. I was not home. I was not available for this because we had a doctor's appointment. On some lighter news, our baby is only 5 pounds, 15 ounces, and we have three weeks left to the due date. So no C-section for us, but let's hop into the Xbox at E3. Now, everybody was going off about how they're not going to get an Xbox One, how PS4 is going to, you know, trample all over the Xbox One. But let's talk about Xbox One in the gaming aspect. Nobody has really said anything, you know, gaming wise, because everybody thinks that they're just trying to go the television family route. Now, the first game that I want to speak about is Metal Gear Solid 5. Now, in my talking points, I'm only going to talk about things that I noticed that relate to me. I'm not going to talk about every single thing. So if you're here for everything, you might want to go watch the two hour stream. But back to Metal Gear Solid 5. That game is a must buy. I'm not sure what system I'm going to grab it on. But I tell you this right now, the way those graphics look. Oh, my goodness. All I can say is. The next gen of gaming is definitely here. For graphics to look that realistic, it's, it's unreal. And from the gameplay standpoint, we've all known that Metal Gear has always been one of those games that you love to play. The storyline, you love playing it. This is not like Call of Duty. This is not something where you buy it, open up the package, put the disc in the game and go straight to online. Everyone I know that ever played Metal Gear Solid has played the game for storyline mode purposes. Now, I believe that the storyline is great. It's going to be a great game. If you want to listen or read or watch more about this, you want to go to www.gamespot.com. They got the whole live stream there for you guys. So you definitely want to check it out. Now, the next thing I, I want to shed light on is uh, that Xbox 360 new look. That uh, new priced Xbox 360. Who in the world is going to sp spend money on a new Xbox 360? Let's let's keep it 100. Let's keep it a bean. Can we can we be real here? Who in the world or whoever is in their right mind will buy a, a Xbox 360 when the Xbox one is about to drop? Who would do that? Who would waste money like that? You know what? I'm not even going to lie. It's a couple rich people out there in this world. They might just say, hey, man, you know what? Let me let me cop up just because I can. So, you know, to all you rich people out there, can I hold something, please? Just just about four, four, five hundred dollars just in case the Xbox one dropped the same day. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. But uh, <laughs> I'm not I'm not feeling that whole, you know, new Xbox 360 look. I'm definitely not feeling those new titles exclusively for it. Uh, please. Who wants to play with tanks all day? Come on. Really? Really? But the next thing that I want to move into is Rise. If you guys do not know what Rise is, if you have not watched the live stream yet, Rise is a new roaming game. And from what I saw, the graphics are unreal. People catching arrows to the eye, everything. But what I believe this is, is an exclusive title for Xbox that will try to compete with God of War. Now, one thing that, that I did notice from the gameplay is that it seems like Batman plus God of War. With a little bit of, you know, all your mystical, you know, fantasy television shows like Spartacus and stuff like that. That's how it felt to me. So I'm not even going to lie to you guys. It looks like a good game. It looks like something that I will buy. I'm not totally sure if I'll get it. But if I, if, you know, if it's, if I'm getting bored with titles and, you know, different games that I play, Rise will probably be something that I pick up to relieve the stress of playing one game all over and all over, you know. But uh, the next thing that I want to hop into is Forza. Yes, we skipped a couple things. But, hey, I, I ain't worried about all those other joints. Um, Forza 5. Okay. It looks hot. It looks like a great car game. But the only thing about Forza is I won't be able to use it in the beginning of my NBA 2K14 videos. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. When, when I think of a car game... I'm not really one of those guys that just want to race on the track and, you know, race against other people online. It's not really my cup of tea, but, you know, if it comes down to it, if if uh, Xbox One is throwing out some type of promotion where you get Forza 5 while buying the Xbox One system, you know, and some type of package they'll have to buy, I may grab it. But other than that, I don't think that I will grab it. But, you know, it's a lot of race fans out there that, you know, want a racing game. So 
Forza 5. Uh, the McLaren looks crazy. I'm not even going to lie to you. They, they had a real life car at the event. Joint was nasty. I mean, the coat of orange joint, my boy, might make me want to take a bite off that car. But <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. The next game that we're going to move into is Quantum Break. Oh, my. Yo, Quantum Break, first night, release, 12 a.m., whatever you want to call it, I'm there. Quantum Break looks really good. Now, okay, they're still doing bullet time, of course, you know, but it's a game that is built solely around that, you know, time continuum type stuff. It's, it's a nice little storyline to it, you know. The graphics are amazing. The cinematics are amazing. So I'm going to grab that game solely for like, I mean, just a nice little playthrough, you know, looking at these graphics and oohs and ahs all night long. But hey, man, I might even build a commentary off of oohs and ahs, but you never know. Now, the next game that I want to move into is Killer Instinct. It's another Xbox exclusive that's going to be dropping. And all I got to say about Killer Instinct is still ain't messing with Street Fighter, though. That's all I'm saying. But if you want to get a nice little one-on-one -on -one game, you know, and, and play against your friends and your peers one-on-one -on -one for that bread, Killer Instinct is one of those games that you might want to play. Also, I did see that they will have like an arcade-ish joystick that's, that may come with any type of title you may get from Killer Instincts. Might be able to get a package deal or something or pre-order. You might be able to buy the joystick, you know, after the fact. Not totally sure about that. But Instinct, it does look like a Killer Instinct does look like a good game. But mm, still not my cup of tea. I got Injustice. I'm good. But, <laughs> but what I did see as they were playing Killer Instinct, you will be able to record your uh, winnings live and put them up on, I guess, Xbox Cloud or something like that and be able to show your friends, you know, how good you are at the game and things of that nature. Also, a big feature that they have got is live streaming to Twitch TV. All I can say about this is, what am I going to do with my Elgato? I, I, I said when I seen this, the only thing I could think of was like, what am I going to do with the Elgato? That's my sole reasoning and, and way of live streaming to Twitch. If I don't need the Elgato, what am I going to do with it? Oh, my goodness. But hey, I ain't stepping. Ain't, I hope Xbox ain't trying to step on nobody's toes here. But it is what it is. Now, the next game I want to move into is Dead Rising 3. Can anybody say GTA Zombie Edition? That That's all I'm going to say about that game. You know, it doesn't look too much like it's any objectives that you need to do in this game. It just looks like one of those games that you turn on. You say, OK, let me build a chainsaw mallet or something like that. Or let me get a, a flashlight off the floor and tape it to the the the, uh, the barrel of my gun and make a, you know, a tactical gun or something. Like It doesn't look like it's anything that you necessarily have to do. And I just got one thing. At the end of Dead Rising, right? You're supposed to be in a all zombie world, right? Who called in that airstrike for you? That's that's all I'm saying. I know he did it through the whole smart glass and all of that, but who is still alive to call in an airstrike for you though? Okay, we off that. We off that. Next up, excuse me, Battlefield 4. Okay, I thought this was going to be an EA thing. Maybe they're going to get deeper into it when EA does their press conference. Not sure. Maybe. But from what I see in Battlefield 4, it's still more of the same. The graphics have just been upgraded. The biggest problem that Battlefield always has is the gun is extremely big on your screen and the people are extremely small. When you're shooting somebody across the map, they look like they're not even there. You literally, even though it's more more realistic, more tactical, you have to really look at gunfire and just fight and spray away. Seriously, it's it's nothing like Call of Duty. It's not you're not gonna be able to see a dude head glitching. <laughs> you might not even see the barrel of the gun. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's how Battlefield is built. It's a slower game than Call of Duty is built for actual warfare. So hey. It is what it is. I'm not going to say too much more about it. I'm not the type of guy to get Battlefield because I got Battlefield 2. Didn't like it. Kept getting sniped. It is what it is. But uh, moving into Halo. Okay, now we're moving off Halo. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> And the last game that I want to talk about is Titanfall. If you think of Call of Duty in a futuristic standpoint, beating up on, you know, uh, no, not like that. How about... 
No, not that either. What is Titanfall? Literally, like I I watched the the whole preview and I watched the gameplay trailer and all of that. It looks like a pretty good game. I like the way the dude was inside the machine, the man machine, ejected out, came down on top of one guy, ripped off. I think his is the electronic helmet and it just sprayed away on him. Get all his all his spray and I'm like, oh, that don't look kind of hot. And then I like this the way the screen is set up where he's getting his objectives from his teammates and their faces are actually on the screen instead of you just hearing a random voice all game long. I did like that. So I'm going to have to see more from Titanfall just to make my assumptions on if I'm going to get it or, you know, make my choice on if I want to play the demo. I, usually the demo is always the thing that gets me. Once I play a game demo, if it's good, I might put my put my money on it. But the last thing I want to talk about before I get up out of here and I go hop into this EA live stream is the price of the Xbox is listed at $500. That's right, people. It has been confirmed by Microsoft. Five hundred dollars. I don't know what I say. This guy hit me up on Twitter. Where's my iPhone? I'm sorry. I got to do it to him. I, I got to do it. Somebody hit me on Twitter and I had to retweet. It's like it was like the funniest thing in the world. Let me let me hurry up and let my phone load up. OK. He, it says that moment when an iPad costs more than an Xbox One. Oh, I had to retweet that thing so fast. But hey, man, it is what it is. This is IKC signing out. And I'm going to holler at y'all in the rest of these streams for E3. I'm going to be doing this every day, all live streams, as well as dropping you guys some real videos like Madden, 2K. UFC. I'm gonna try to do something. I'm gonna dabble. I'm gonna dabble around in something, but I'm up out of here. Y'all stay up, stay blessed. Peace.